Hey YouTube, it's Mac Lower, and today I'm going to be doing a tutorial, I guess you could say, on Mac OS shortcuts for the keyboard and general shortcuts all around. So first of all, I'm going to start off with a shortcut that's already on your computer. Let me just open up some applications here, get it a little cluttered, I guess you could say, and some parentheses. So you have all these applications, you're trying to get to them by moving them around, clear them up, oh there's that, and stuff like that. There's a way easier way to do this, by pressing F3 on a keyboard, opens up your spaces, and all of the programs get um, spread out, and you can see them easily, and you can easily click through and navigate. Now I've never tried to quit through this, but no, you can't do that, but you go in, and then if you want to quit an application, press Command Q. Quits that Command Q again. If you want to hide the application, press Command H. It will hide it. As you can see, it's not in the dock where it normally is when you minimize an application, right there. But I think it was this one. No, it was. Yeah, it was this. So you press Command H, press it again, and there it is. Command Q, and double clicking a application will automatically do, uh, minimize it. Now, here's this cool fun app, um, thing you can do. If you hold down Shift and press on a thing to maximize, it slowly does it. And the same with minimizing it. So there's that. Command Q. Now to close an application, you do Command W, which is pretty much pressing the red button at the top, and it's gone. <laughs> Sorry. Now let's go to. Oh sure. Um, if you press F4, opens up your dashboard. And a cool little trick on your dashboard that you can do is if you want a widget, which is one of these things, on your on your desktop. All you have to do is hold down one of the widgets and click, keep clicking your mouse and click dashboard and there it is. Now the only problem with this is that it goes over top your applications like that. To put it back, it's the same thing, you hold it down, bring it in, like that. And next for the desktop we can do shift command new which is new folder and when that folder is open if you press the space bar it opens the get info where it shows all information about it command delete deletes that item and you can do that also now screenshots which is a really cool thing you can do take pictures of your screen there's three options you can do you can do shift command 4 which gives you a option to take a part of the screen and take a picture of it like that you can also do shift command 4 which is this but before you do anything you press spacebar and a camera appears and you can actually pick like a like a section of your desktop or screen to take a picture of so let's say I want to take a picture of that bar ends up on your desktop and there it is right there and then let's group these together command delete which we did and then the last screenshot is shift command 3 which takes a whole picture like that now the other one that I use pretty much every single time on my computer is command tab and it opens all application to using right now like this and to navigate the applications you can use your mouse or you can use the tab key and the tilde key which is right above the tab key and you can also quit applications through this by pressing by you and when you're using this you hold down the command key and you tap the tab key so you're holding on to the command key the whole time and to quit an application, just press Command Q and it's gone. Um, 
Another one is Command Spacebar, which opens your spotlight, which is I use a lot since it's probably one of the greatest things because if I type in iTunes, it pops up right away. And Spotlight can also do the calculator applicate um thing. So let's say I do three, sorry, three plus 14. There it is, 17 right there. So that's really cool. I can also do dictionary, so do dog. Opens up my dictionary application, and there it is. Okay, let's go to here. So, let's say hello. So now I will press Command A to select everything in the text document. I'll press Command C for copy. Press one face so I can get out of the way. And press Command V, which is Command Paste. Now I can also do Command Z, which is undo. And Command A again. Command X is cut, so if you know what cut is, it takes the whole thing out. And then I can put it like that. So select A, so let's say type in some stuff. Just some random stuff, and you don't want to highlight it because sometimes it just kind of messes up and it selects everything but this sometimes can be a pain since you don't want to select everything of course command delete deletes the line like that even the spaces now I'll quit this application don't save it soon now and another cool thing is let's say I open up sorry, a Word document. It's going to take a bit to load. Don't update now. So I have my Word document. I say, something like that. I'll say, subscribe. And I press Q without saving. And this will pop up. And you, if it's highlighted in a blue, the bubble, you can press Enter, and it automatically opens like that. Of course, I don't want to save that since it's pretty useless. And also, when you're going through your menu bar, I guess you could call it, a lot of things will show like this. So, let's say. I want to quickly go, navigate to my applications, go to my finder, go to go, instead of clicking it, it tells me the shortcut I can use, shift command A, automatically opens my applications quickly, and a lot of other things, see, this is what all, I showed you all this, but there's also other stuff like that, like get info is that, find is that, and another cool thing to prank your friends on guess you can do sometimes, is you type control option command 8 and you won't be able to see it right now but my colors are inverted that means the colors pretty much change dramatically and it looks really cool so white turns to black and etc etc so I th I think I will record on my video camera and show you what happens and pretty much you can just try yourself take that off and that will be the end of part one. Stay tuned for part two. Thanks. Okay, this is what it looks like when you press command option eight. Control option command eight or something like that. And it comes inverted. Like I said, it didn't show up in my screen flow, so there it is.